Welcome to another video. Today we're back playing Mermails, but not just any Mermails. We're playing Mermails in the Link Only Festival. Now you thought I was going to be playing Marincess because that's a you know a Link water deck, but I gotta I gotta bring the Mermails out first. This deck is just so good at spamming monsters out in the field. I've never tried a Link Only version of this deck, and I I didn't really think how I didn't think how good it would be. It's been pretty good. We got our classic combo still. Deep Sea Minstrel gonna take a peek at our opponent's hand. Now, our opponent's got a pretty great hand here. They got evenly matched. They got Pot of Desires to draw two cards. Harpy, Feather Duster, not really going to help them out too much here. But you can see Salaman, Great Roar, and a Sinet Mining, which means they're going to be able to search for their starter and do some presumably Salaman Great combos. Also, while drawing two cards. So, we're going to make them discard two. Hopefully, we get lucky here. That evenly matched isn't a huge deal. We can play through it. But we really want to get rid of their searcher. So, we just got to get lucky here. Now we got five waters in the graveyard. We're gonna summon Mooling Glacier, which we searched for with the effect of Dragoons. Make them discard two. Hope we get lucky. Let's see what we get we hit. Hit the pot and the Salaman Great Roar. That's okay. They still have Cyanet Mining, um, which means they'll be able to search. We stole the Harpy's Feather Duster from their hands, so we knew that wasn't getting discarded. Feather Duster not gonna do much against us. We got uh, Abyss Lacey's effect to discard a heavy infantry during our opponent's turn will let us pop a card. Opponent's going to activate Cyanet Mining, discarding that Feather Duster. Smart play here. They search for a Lady Debug. Not a card I was expecting. Evenly matched, going to force us to banish a card. We're going to give up the Mullen Glacia. Want to keep Abyss Lacey because we can uh, discard that heavy like we talked about. Does mean we lose our battle phase next turn. Opponent summoning that Lady Debug. Searching for a Salamangrate Spinny. One unknown card in hand. Opponent getting that Bill Lynx. And now I see the time to strike. We're going to detach our Heavy Infantry. Try and pop the Bill Lynx. Stop him from having a Salamangrate Monster on the field. Opponent gets the Sanctuary. Pop that Bail Lynx. But opponent's last card was a Gazelle. That was their top deck. Sending the Rage to the Graveyard, activating the Sanctuary, and activating the Spinny in hand. Going to Special Summon, make a Link 2. Sunlight Wolf. Link off. Into another Sunlight Wolf. They're going to set Salamangrate Roar on the field. And add a Rage to hand. So they got, they got some interruption here. They can negate a spell effect. They can negate a monster effect. Uh, so we're going to have to be a little creative. Let's start with the Teus. Discard the heavy. Pona going to negate the effect of Teus to summon. That's pretty good. We're actually happy with that. We didn't really care if our Teus resolved. And now we get that pop potentially. Although... Trying to pop here, opponent negates it with the effect of the Bailings in the graveyard. So now we still have our normal summon. We're going to get searching. Search for the Diva. Diva gonna summon. Get Prince on the field. Opponent's gonna respond. They know what they're doing. They're gonna target our monsters. Target two cards. Pop them. Now, targeting the Abyss Lady is probably a mistake. Abyss Lady gonna uh, activate here. Let's ascend a Prince to the graveyard and special summon from the graveyard. That means we get our Prince back and we get the effect of Prince from being sent to the graveyard to let us special summon. Uh, heavy Infantry could have summoned anything here, but we're doing some crazy Link plays, so that's all good. And we haven't activated Prince yet this turn, so we can still activate Prince. Opponent returning the Gazelle to hand. Uh, we're going to activate Prince now. Send a Dragoons. Add a Heavy to hand. Get the Abyss Megalo. And now, we got a great line here. Link off into the Link 5 Underworld Goddess. Very easy to make this in this tournament. You're going to see a lot of people playing high link rating monsters. Uh, all you have to do is have four plus effect monsters. As long as you got enough link arrows, you're all set. So getting three monsters on the field, often enough to make this underworld goddess. And opponent. <laughs> opponent is done. We actually did have lethal there. So what we could have done is special summon the megalo from hand. Uh, we would have gotten effect from the gun to special summon from a graveyard. We had to search for the equip spell. Uh, special summon that monster, tribute it with uh, Megalo to attack twice. Hit our opponent for 9,000 damage. Pretty sweet. All right, 
that was great. Let's go on to the next game. If you love mermails, be sure to subscribe. I'll have a full deck list at the end of the video, and we'll be doing more water decks, probably in the Link Festival, as well as some, some more decks, you know, as soon as they're ready, as soon as I can make them. We'll be bringing back Legendary Fisherman at some point, too. So you gotta be ready for that. Let's start with the classic combo. Search for Deep Sea Minstrel. Take a peek at our opponent's hand here. Gotta love taking a peek at the opponent's hand. You know all of their little tricks. Opponent's got a Kaiju. They got another Feather Duster. We saw one of those last time. Playing a World Legacy and a Parallel Exceed. So uh, we're gonna make them discard too. Let's get rid of that Feather Duster. They don't have any interaction right now. We're gonna hope we make them discard this Kaiju. So let's get that Feather Duster out of here. Feather Duster not really a very good card against us. We got five Water Monsters in the Graveyard by summoning the Abyss Glacia. We got the discard of the Heavy. Let's Special Summon Mulan Glacia. Make him discard two. We hit the Chalice and the Kaiju. Very nice. Let's Teus Special Summon. Teus could search for a Special Summon, but we discard a Prince. So Prince going to Special Summon to the field. Give us another monster. Let us make a Link 2. And we're going to make... Where is it? Here we go. Mascarina. Mascarina's quick effect lets us Link Summon during our opponent's turn using monsters we control, including this card. And that Link monster cannot be destroyed by card effects. Now, we got a few Links, Link 4s we could make. Uh, we got the Access Code Talker. Uh, we got the Appaloosa, which should give us two monster negates. Access Code is just a big boy. Uh, Black Luster, we could also make although it might be a bit awkward actually i don't know if we can make black luster because of the way the links add up i uh, also got an ingirsu of the world chalice i just got that in here you know just because i'm throwing every link monster i have into this deck all right now now that we got this set up let's pass back to the opponent opponent draw your card see if you can get out of this and opponent cannot get out of it opponent gonna give up mermail's too strong all right let's go on to the next game all right Great hand here. We got a Crusader Arbora. I'm playing three of this in this deck just because if you get a Link 2, Crusader is going to let you extend out, make a Link 3 or more. Uh, opponent got a Maxi. Let's Ash Blossom. Don't want our opponent drawing any cards here. And we definitely don't want to stop with this board. Negate the Maxi. Let's activate Prince. Opponent going to Ash Blossom Prince. Now, that's a little annoying, but it's, it's okay because they Ash Prince's effect, not the effect of Dragoons. People forgot how mermails work. It's been too long. Well, let's activate Dragoon's effect. Search for the Mullen Glacia. And now we got the Abyss Glacia on the field. We need one additional water monster in the graveyard to summon Mullen Glacia here. So we're going to get Coral and Enemy out here. Summon the Mullen Glacia. Make our opponent discard too. And we can use Coral and Enemy to special summon the Neptibus for next turn. Now, a little awkward. I probably should have not used my one Abyss Lacia for this. Could have used, uh, where is it? Miss Starboy. Miss Starboy would have been better. Then we'd have still had Abyss Lacia for our opponent's turn. But we're just going to leave our board like this. Hope for the best. Opponent's down to one card, basically. Uh, not going to have much way to interact with us. They run Upstart Goblin. And it's Sky Strikers, of course. Opponent special summoning a Hayate from the extra deck. Gonna send a Sky Striker card to the graveyard. Link up into the Kagari. That's gonna add that card from the graveyard to their hand. Opponent adding the Mobilize. And they got three spells in their graveyard, which means this Mobilize has two effects. Add a Sky Striker card from the deck to the hand and draw a card. Opponent got the Shark Cannon. Gonna steal our monster from the graveyard. Link into Zeke. Zeke going to banish our Mullen Glacial end of turn. That steals our battle phase away. They're going to make the Shizuku draw another Sky Striker card. But this is okay. This is all fine. We're going to activate Prince. Send Dragoons. Add a heavy infantry to hand. Dragoons is going to activate. Give us that Megalo we can use. Not on this turn to attack, obviously. No attacks this turn. Let's summon Abyss Pike. Discard. Search for level 3. We're going to get the gun. Setting up our Megalo for later. Try and pop the Sky Striker Ace. Pwn has Mecha, Mecha Eagle Booster. Gotta love these names. 
This is going to make his monster unaffected by card effects. Uh, so that's okay. Because you can be unaffected by card effects. But that's not going to stop the Underworld Goddess. Let's link off. Make that Underworld Goddess steal away the Sky Striker. That means the Ray is not going to activate in the graveyard. Our battle phase is skipped. But we do get our Mullen Glacia back. Not going to complain about that. Uh, opponent activate in airspace. They're going to try and target their card, destroy it too. Excavate three cards and add a Sky Striker card to hand. We're just going to ash that. Stop our opponent getting any card advantage. We got easy lethal on our turn. All we got to do is, do is draw one water monster. And we do it easy. Let's just summon the Prince here. Search. Search for a face up pop with a heavy and then summon the uh, Megalo. Tribute Prince attack for extra lethal. The opponent's not going to wait. They're done. Very sick game from the Mermills. Let's do one more game here. All right. You're going to find you have this pretty often. You're going to be able to just take a peek at your opponent's hand. We are playing three copies of the good old Deep Sea Minstrel here. Let's take a peek. Opponent going to activate in response. Artifact Lancia. That actually stops the effect of the Minstrel from banishing. But we still do get to look at our opponent's hand. So let's take a peek at our opponent's hand here. Uh, opponent has Marincess Wave, Triple Tactics, Battle Ocean, and a Sleepy Maiden. Well, opponent, you're trying to play what you thought was the best water deck for this festival, but it's not. Nah, it's not as good as Mermels. So we don't get to banish a card, even though we chose one. We chose that Marincess Wave, but doesn't get banished because of the effect of the Lancia. Let's search for Moon Glacia. Normal that Diva. Get Prince. Send Dragoons. Add a heavy to hand. Dragoons are going to search. For another diva, we can use that next turn. Let's special summon Abyss Glacia here. Summon that Molen Glacia. Make him discard two. Hit the Battle Ocean and the Triple Tactics. Not that bad. And now our Abyss Glacia can discard the heavy to pop a card on our opponent's turn. But opponent has no plays. Passing. All right, let's show him easy lethal. Opponent gonna max C. Ultimate disrespect. Just giving that Ash Blossom. They're dead here. Not even going to let them try and draw into the Nibiru. Negate that Maxi. Always with the Maxi getting drawn when it's too late to do anything. We got three monsters on the field. We get to search for the Megalo. But let's link three into my boy Black Luster Soldier of Chaos. Gotta love this card. Let's summon the Megalo. We're just doing max disrespect here. You know, we're the ultimate water deck. Look, you don't even have the water field. Get out of here. Pop two. Opponent doesn't even have cards to pop. Let's attach that. Equip skill. <laughs> Abyss skill. And let's get attacking for lethal. Easy lethal with the Mermails. All right. That was pretty fun. If you got the Mermails deck, you should definitely check something like this out in the festival. All right. Well, let's go on to the deck list. All right, here is the full deck list. Now, I'm just playing with the links I have in the extra deck. But you can see here, we got a lot of stuff going on. Mermails can just extend forever. Uh, if you have Teus and you discard something, you got to discard something without an effect. You can search for Abyss Dine. It'll special summon itself onto the field. It's just so easy in this deck to get a bunch of monsters on field and then hi make high link uh, monsters. So pretty easy to make your uh, access codes, your Appaloosas. Uh, even the Underworld Goddess, steal your opponent's monsters. Uh, Boral End Dragon, another card I have right now, Link 5. Um, not sure what other links could include. If I'm missing some links, let me know. I'll just pan through the extra deck here quickly. Uh, one kind of neat trick, if you manage to summon a monster and your stuff gets negated, like say you summon a D.Va, gets negated. Uh, if you have one of these Crusadias in hand, or you can search for it with the Small World, uh, you can use El Mirage on your Diva, and then uh, summon the Crusadia and you'll be able to make a, a little area Water Tremor. So, uh, you know, you always got you always got some plays. Water Tremor can uh, also steal your opponent's monsters if they're playing Marincess. So, pretty sweet. Had a lot of fun playing this deck list. Let me know what you've been playing in the festival. If you think there's some decks I should try out, uh, I'll be sure to do them because we got a couple weeks of this festival left and I, I want to try as many decks as possible. It's a bit of a wacky format. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.